Amen. Well, we thank you for being here tonight. We just love the Lord. Bless his name. Welcome. For those that are joining us tonight on Facebook Live, those that will be watching on our YouTube channel and other media, we just thank you for tuning in tonight as we have another session together on the Day of the Saints. This is a program that we have started just to broadcast uh, scripture to speak about the Word of God around that which God is doing to raise up the saints of God, the church of God. This is our finest hour. This is the church's defining hour. Vama, welcome. It's so nice to have you again with us tonight. And, and it's just so beautiful again to minister with you and, and just hear as the Lord is sharing with you how God is just touching you and blessing you and just opening up your heart to the things of God concerning the saints and what God has called the church to do. So good to have prophets and, and the, the prophetic word come forth into the church, into the house of God. Amen. Um, the script that the Lord just gave me right now, so you must uh, forgive me. I just want to open it. It's Romans 14, verse 11. It is written, as surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bow before me Amen. and every tongue will acknowledge God. We are in very amazing times. So true, you know. Amen. Every knee will bow, every tongue confess. Amen. And even now as we, the world is gripped in, in, in this thing of the coronavirus and the fear, there's a better way. There's a way that God has made. Mm. You know, the Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in Amen. it. Amen. Tonight as we continue in this series on the day of the saints, we want to talk about the authority that God has given the church, that God Amen. has given the believer. So often the church has been seen or portrayed by the world as being weak, as being apologetic, as being lukewarm. And yet God wants to raise up from the church that is strong and powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword in their yes. hand, and, and not this weak, wobbly thing anymore. So we want to talk about building the foundation around the authority that the believer carries. You know, there's a portion that just dropped in my spirit. Part of our armor is the sword. And... God had to give me a revelation regarding Hebrews 4 verse 12. That that is part of my authority. Is when I Amen. walk into with any situation, my Hebrews 4 verse 12 sword that bring division between everything and the truth comes out. But that is the authority that God gave us. Amen. 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 You see... We need to understand what it really means for the church to walk in authority. Mm. We said on, on the last broadcast that many of the church walk around quoting scripture from head knowledge. Mm. But they don't have revelation knowledge in our heart to speak with authority. They speak in hope. They speak in, 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 in almost anticipation. But they don't speak in authority. And if we're going to see the world changed, if we're going to see the kingdom of God established on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Just think for a moment, if you, can, if you can sculpt a picture in your mind, what authority God has in heaven. Just, just maybe as a seer prophet, mm -hmm. if you had to look into the heaven right now, what would the authority of God in heaven look like? Um. God is reminding me there was a time that I felt very unsafe. There was just situations around me. And I said, Daddy, can you really, can you really protect me? Are you, are you really awake 24-7? And God took me into a vision where he showed me how his army look. And I've never seen anything like this in my whole life. He started showing me uh, an army that was fully geared, fully ready. But you know when, when someone is sort of on, on his back leg, chilled, this army were ready for action. Ready to fight. Ready to fight. 
Amen. And I mean, as God was lifting me up, I, after a while, I saw the whole uni, you know, the whole earth. And line by line, his armies were ready. They were, they were geared. Amen. That's the type of authority that God has. He just breathed and you and me were made. Amen. There's Amen. such an authority that when you open your mouth because you are made to his image, that's what's going to appear. So life and death is in our tongues. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So if we can look at that picture, folk, of what authority God has in heaven. Yeah. You know, when the enemy came against God in heaven, he was thrown out. Yeah. Instantaneously, rebellion was destroyed and cast out. Yeah. And when we look at the Lord's Prayer, Our Father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, okay. We are still a little way off from seeing that kingdom on earth mm -hmm. established as it is in heaven. We look at a scripture tonight as, as part of our dialogue from Luke chapter 9 verses 1 and 2. Then Jesus called the disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure all disease. And verse 2. And then he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Amen. Um, we were looking at this uh, um, app you can download now. It's the, the group's name is The Chosen. And one specific portion we were looking when Jesus healed the leper. And he just said, I'm willing. Amen. When the leper asked him, will you please heal me? I heard about you because my sister was there when you changed the water into wine. Wow. Yeah. And Jesus said, I'm willing. Come on. And that on. willingness is what we are here about. That's so true. You know, a lot of people, if I listen to a lot of things, things that are preached from many podiums, many pulpits around the world. Am I hearing two things that Jesus said just here in Luke 9? I'm not talking about all the other things that he yeah. ministered through the Gospels. I'm not talking about what he said in Isaiah chapter 60, 61 and 62. Amen. I'm just talking about two things that he said in Luke chapter 9. So he said that he gave the disciples power and authority over all devils and to cure disease. He sent them out to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And so when I look at those two things, I don't hear, sadly, in the church today, people preaching the kingdom of God here on earth as it should be, and I don't hear them speaking about healing the sick. Mm. Yeah, and if I think, when, when I go to office, how do I live this authority? How do I do this authority? I mean, if I think people walk into your office and, and the tears is just running down their face and they say, listen, I battle with my, my young uh, um, son. He's battling to read. And there in your office, you take hands, you stand on the word of God, and you pray, and you start speaking life over that. Amen. And as we are preach, uh, praying, God show me his brain, how God is redoing his whole brain, and how the paths on his brain has been healed. Amen. And there's new mindsets forming, and as he work through his schoolwork it's just going to be easier and the feedback came and that boy was totally healed totally amen. set free amen isn't god awesome amen. god is wonderful you know when we preach the gospel when we preach the kingdom of god amen things will begin to happen oh yes bible talks about signs wonders and miracles and Mighty miracles, Amen. unusual miracles. Amen. You know, we've seen up to now, church, 
Some people, and we've had some great men and women of God through the ages that have been mightily anointed to do the work of the Father, to do the work of the kingdom, and we've seen these evangelists and, and these revivalists, as, as they're known, doing mighty things for God. But I want to tell you tonight, I want to encourage you and share with you that that anointing that is that is from God to, to have dominion over all the things of the devil, the works of darkness. Amen. God wants that in every single believer. God wants that in every person that is born again and filled with the Spirit of God. I mean, I, I'm just thinking now, um, as, as I was spending time with the Lord last night, He showed me a specific pattern in a family. He showed what happened to the daughter. He showed me what happened to the grandbaby. And God just said to us what to do to change the atmosphere. Amen. And I just feel that God is going to give us such a sharp spirit of discernment in these last days. Amen. That, that portions of um, Isaiah 11 verse 2 to 3 what all the portions of Holy Spirit is all about that is in you we were speaking about it um, this morning I think that we said the same power that rose Amen. Jesus from, from the dead oh come on Ephesians 1 verse 17 to 21 that is the power the authority that is in us Amen you know this morning is in, in our normal uh, dynamic life slot, we were talking about faith and the measure of faith. And that is not a measure as in a quantity. We have the measure of faith, which is the full portion that God has given us. And what we need to learn to do is how to release that faith Come on. at the level or the degree that is needed for the task at hand. Yes. And what I'm seeing in the church is nobody in these days is going to be able to put a stamp on it, put a label on it, put a sticker on it. It's yes. no nothing that anybody, honey, is going to be able to claim for themselves I mean. that they started it, this was this move and this was that move. I mean, we've had the Azusa Street Revival, yeah. we had the Welsh Revival, we had the Scottish Revival, we, we had... Uh, Toronto blessings and they were able to name where these ministries and moves of God originated but in this day in 2020 the year of the beginning of the day of the saints mm. it's going to break out across the world what? simultaneously just in fact even more infectious than this coronavirus uh, pandemic which is now spread across the world and we know that started or has been a, a claim that it started in China but I want to tell you tonight church that this power of God the anointing of God that's going to come on the saints be released through the saints of God will not have an origin on earth for its origin is of the spirit its well, origin amen. is in the realm of the heavenlies and it will come through the saints out of our bellies will start to flow rivers of living water and wherever we are people are going to start to be healed delivered and set free by the spirit of god simultaneously around the world nobody is going to be able to lay claim to this and say i did this I did that. No man will get the glory for what God is doing in this move. And that Amen. is so exciting. Amen. And I mean, Paul said, even if it's just his shadow fell on people. They got healed. I mean, Amen. Can, can you just imagine walking past people in, in the office building? And the next moment, someone jumps up. I can hear. I can hear. I can smell. I can taste again. I, I feel my fingers. I mean, you get so many requests of people that, that just ask, please pray for this and pray for that. But you know what? We are going to hear more reports of God did this. Did you know God did that? Amen. And can you imagine you go to the office in the morning and people is like, oh, you know what happened to this one, this one, this one? God just supernaturally healed them. You, you know what? Every, front, uh, every of the patients of this hospital just started walking Amen. out. They were all set Praise free the and delivered. I mean, Glory this person when I see you for three months, the, I don't know what happened, but he's up. He pulled out all his strings and he's going home. 
I mean, can you imagine all the um, oncologists, those departments is empty. Amen. Because God has set everyone God. free God. Of, of cancer, of, of all these diseases. Wow. Church, do you, do you see the excitement that must be right now in heaven as the hosts of Sheriff from Cherub, the host of angels, God is on the edge of his seat, as it were, figuratively, saying, come on, church, come on, church, come on, come church, on. you can do this. I've given you my power and my authority. In my name will you do greater works. Now, church, I've got to say tonight, I, I want for in my life to be able to release more faith. I've got lots of faith. It's welling up in me. It's coming out of me. Amen. It's bubbling out of me. You Amen. can't stop me. I just want to preach the gospel. I want to go into the streets, lay hands on the sick. You know, I've been, I've been watching some posts on Facebook, and people are saying, where are all these evangelists and these healers? Well, I want to tell you, we're here. And I want, to, I want to tell you, I prophesy tonight that the world is going to see the church coming up and rising up in the power and authority that Come God on. has given us. Amen. But you know, you know that scripture where God says, I have not given you a spirit of fear. Yeah, oh yes. But of love, love joy, and peace, a sound yeah. mind. Amen. You were talking earlier, Velma, about discernment. Yeah. Having a sharpness Come in on. our mind. Amen. A sharpness in our spirit. Now that sharpness, church, is not going to be a sharpness just for secular or, or carnal Amen. things. That is going to be a sharpness for spiritual Come things. On. Because the Bible Amen. says in Romans that if we live by the Spirit, we are spiritual beings. Mm. We're not carnal beings. We happen to be in this world, but we're not of this world. Amen. And so there's going to be, <coughs> excuse me, there's going to be a transition. There's going to be a turning from, from the church being weak, Woo! the church being wobbly, the church falling down and, and moaning and groaning to a powerful army of God rising up. You know, I remember back in, 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 in certain, certain times in my life when I was under a lot of pressure, and I want to say this, I know I let some of those things happen in my life. I made decisions that allowed those attacks and those situations to grow and to block and to manifest over my life. And the day I stood up, in a righteous anger, in a righteous indignation, and I said, enough, and I spoke the word with fervor, with, with force, with, with the victory of God, Amen. and I said, enough, those things fleed. They left me, Amen. and God set me free of those things. Amen. And, and sweetie, I'm, I'm believing tonight for the body of Christ to get to that place in, in the Afrikaans language, you would say, they are hurtful. And I want the church to Amen. get to the place where we are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Amen. That we are no longer wanting to be this wishy-washy, tossed to and fro by the waves, going here, going there, running after a word, running after this, running after that. I want the church to rise Amen. up in the authority that God has given us. Some people, church are waiting on God for something new when God has already given it to us through Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. Amen. The day of Pentecost came and the church was never the same again. We don't need another Pentecost. We don't need another mighty move. We've had the move that will Amen. move the church. Amen. We need now to get moving in the things of God and the things of faith. I mean, unfortunately, I see Amen. we're out of time, sweetie. So don't you want to just wrap it up and close? And we'll be back on Wednesday night to Amen. in another episode of the Day of the Saints. I love you. I appreciate you and bless you. I'm Derek Back for Dynamic Life Ministries. My wife, Velma, well, my she's going to minister, pray, and we're going to close the session in Jesus' name. The other night, I, and, and I want to end with this,
at one of our meetings as we were praising and worshipping. The next moment in the spiritual hell and the Lord showed me like a waterfall that was opened in the spirit Amen. and just started hitting our service. And God said to me, call those that are sick, call them, I want to touch them, I want to heal them. And it was after a while, everyone that, uh, that was just touched by the Lord, they were lying on the floor and God was just healing them and just setting them, them free. And that is just the start of that rain that cloud that is moving in that is bringing a revival to south africa to africa to the rest of this world god is on the move the day of the saints is here we bless you we love you i'm going Amen. to end with a priestly blessing it says here god will kneel before you presenting gifts and he will guard you with the hedge of protection God will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, strength, nourishment, and friendship. God will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you, and he will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Church, you've got the authority. Be blessed. Have an amazing um, evening, and we love you. Amen. As I walk towards you right now, I want you to get excited Amen. for what God is doing. Let me tell you, the power of God is coming into your life right now. I pray right now, as I reach out to this camera, I pray that God will touch you, bless you, and set you free to rise up as a saint and as a servant of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.